Okay, I'm back to finish up these Santas. I just did this brown face. I find, I think I figured out, it's not varnished yet, but look at his eyes. You can really see them. I mean, his nose could probably be a little brighter or lighter, I guess. But he's cute. I like him. All right. So I have these two left. I have kind of like a, definitely a white, my color skin, white. And then a little bit of a brown. This is called Dark Flesh. Um... I think I'm going to shade this face. We're going to do the faces first because I got to get them done in order to do the fur and the beards. So I'm going to put out a little bit of this and then I'll put out a little bit of the milk chocolate to shade this guy's face just under the, the cap. So in other words, you want it, you know, the cap would be on top of his head casting a shadow down onto his face. I, my stuff is so messy. I've been painting for three days. Okay. Um, corner load again. I'm going to go into the lighter dark flesh to do my, my pale Santa. My pale Santa first. And just keep this soft up under the hat. So right across his forehead. I might push that up a little. It's, it's, I'm such a, ugh. I mean, it looks nice, but I don't want it to take over, so I'm pushing it back, kind of, right? Yeah, I just want the shadow to be under the hat. And the same thing for this guy, I'm going to try and keep it small. So in other words, I'm not going to put that much paint on my brush, like a tiny bit. And that should keep my float really um, just under the hat. Hoping it'll show up because, like I said, I've been experimenting with these different um, brown colors. I think it. I think it's good. I could probably do it a little heavier. I like it. I gotta let that dry. Gotta let it dry. Now I'm gonna go across. Now, <clears throat> what I just did on this sand, this one. Well, see, I made these little cheeks. I don't know if you can see them. I want to come down, see if you can really see these little cheeks. Yeah. All right, so right here is kind of a cheek that I put in there. And I love it. I think it looks so cute. Now, on this Santa, I did not do that. I just made the... Um, the sides of his face kind of glow, which is a good way to go. And I could probably just do it. Um, I think I'm going to keep him super simple. So in other words, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the red that I've been base coating. <clears throat> um, it's true. It's not true red. It's uh, country red. I'm going to softly float that down both sides. Now I hope that's dry. I'll start with a, a little bit and I'm walking away from it. I don't want a ton. And I'm going to just stick it. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to just stick it in this corner. Hopefully I'm in the shot. Oh boy. I'm pull it up the side. There's so many ways. I, I said in the previous videos, I've painted so many Santas. There's so, oh, geez, just put my sleeve in the paint. That's okay. Um, so many ways to achieve a cute little shine. So see, he's got rosy cheeks. That's what I want him to have. And I'm just going to do the same thing with his nose because it's cold in the North Pole. And I'm going to float in a circular shape, a little nose, and that's it. Even if it stays, I mean, that's basically it. Um, we're going to give him a mouth, but I want to put on, uh, let's see, I'm going to grab some gray that I just got all over my shirt. Look, this is the hazards of painting. Trust me, those of you who've been painting a while, you know. 
I'll put pink soap on it. It'll be just fine. It'll come out. Um, I just folded it up so I don't get it all over everything else. I'm um, going to grab some of the, oh, not with that brush, my liner brush. Now this is a really, this is the, uh, here it is, Chris, Chris's Epic Liner. It's a 10 slash 0, 18 slash 0. So it's really, really fine. There's only a few hairs, and I'm really enjoying it for uh, making these little tiny faces. So what I'm going to do is take that liner and just put some brows on in the gray first. This is the, uh, gosh, I can't remember, Quaker gray. So I'm going to flip them over, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball <laughs> where his brows would go. Kind of each side of his nose. Most of the paint is on my sleeve, so I have, I have very little here. Because this is the undercoating, because we're going to put white on top. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now for his eye, I'm going to try something different. On the original one, oopsie, I just did black eyes, which is super cute and easy. I mean, but for this one, I think I'm going to try something. I am, maybe I will make those little cheeks come up. I, You know, listen, I know... I can't do the same thing twice, you guys. It's so hard for me. I, it's, it gets too boring, I guess. So I'm gonna put a little cheek and another little cheek, like a glow of a cheek. I think that looks good. Then I'm gonna take my liner and I'll give him brown eyes too, since I have it out. I'm gonna use that, uh, I guess it's called Dark Flesh. And I'm gonna pull make these little square eyeballs and I'm gonna there's too much water I can tell this brush had water in it because that isn't really paint that's water I can see so I just took them off and I'm gonna not go into water first and grab the paint again do it again hopefully I'm in the shot and just put them right on top of those cheeks. That looks a little better, but boy, it still seems very wet. Gotta let it dry. And I'm gonna give them an eyelid. Um, maybe that's, I should give them a brown eye, a browner eye. Let's go to this guy. Let's try it this way. So he has a bit darker flesh tone, so I have to figure out how to make it show up. I think what I'm going to do is use the, I'm going to put this out. I don't know if this is what I have out. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, hmm. I'm going to mix whatever I do. I have to put red on here. So let's see. First, let's see if floating just the red down the sides like I did for my other guy We'll give them a little rosiness. So just down the sides here. Yeah, it's going to show up. This is the lightest brown that I've used. So these Santas were far darker. Do you see what I mean? Like he's, the red was hard to get to show up, so I had to keep going over it and over it. But he's got a glow, so I'm liking that. I am going to uh, go into the this really pale flesh tone and mix it with the red and I think that's going to give me a little nose so pink I don't know if I like it that pink and his cheeks too but I think they're too pink so I'll <clears throat> the red will show up better on there now because it has a lighter undercoating so I'll let that dry let me put his eyebrows on to the undercoating of his eyebrows so this is called undercoating when you literally you know you put one color under another color in order to get the top color to show up better um, a lot of times reds are super sheer and if you undercoat them with white you get a much better um, truer deeper 
red. Um, so, and this, in this case, it's just to kind of give the impression that it's gray hair, like it's not just a white beard, that there is some gray going on. Now let me see if they look even. They do. All right, let me put some brown eyes on him. He could have green eyes, but I'm going to give him brown. I'm going with a little bit darker brown. I don't know if that's a good idea. And again, I'm just going to kind of make a square. Can't really see him. Dang it. I can kind of see them. Let's see how these are showing up. I think I'm going to make these um, darker. That definitely looks better. I made his darker. And I can add a little green to this brown maybe. Maybe it'll make a new eye color. Uh, right here. It's probably just going to make mud. <laughs> Yeah, brown is a tricky color to play with. Because they're just not light enough. Ooh, that's... I think I can see it a little better. Or they kind of did just disappear. Dang it. Um, let's give them blue eyes. I'm going to give them blue eyes. Really blue eyes. Hopefully my head doesn't come in. That's some blue eyes. I love it. So that is so cute. And I'm going to go over his cheeks and nose in red. And I think it's going to show up much better. I'm going to leave this guy brown. And I think his cheeks are fine. Um, and then we're going to take, let me go over this with red and make his cheeks, they just don't look right pink, so I gotta make them red. I know I got it on the gray. I think that's, oh crap. It went away. I'm telling you, it's hard to Make these colors show up. Dang it. I have to go back into like the flesh, a different flesh color. Let's try. I'm just going to go over it with the brown and the red again. Like I'm mixing the red into the brown. Oh, it's bumming me out. Um, cause what I want, I want to just move ahead to the uh, beard. It's so fun. Okay, we're gonna use that liner brush again and white. So let me put out some fresh white, cause my other white is on my arm. <laughs> and uh oh, that's not white. Hello, that was a uh, varnish. The bottles are the same. So the first thing I like to do when I do this is to make his mustache. So I start right under and make a little mustache shape. Let's just finish it off. I'm going to fill in by pulling across. This is the thickest one I've done so far. I go up and kind of finish it there. We're going to um, shade it. <clears throat> so this is very cutesy stuff. So we're making his little hair. I just flick it toward his face. You could make little bangs coming down from his hat, but he doesn't have enough room because this is so small. I'm not getting too uh, crazy about it. I want to get this paint a little wetter because it's too thick right now. When you get it wetter, just add a little water to it. It kind of makes it move off the brush and then I'm going to pull lines well 
I'm just making them straight. You can make them curly. You know, I was showing you some stuff I saw on, I guess on Facebook, where she makes little squiggles coming down. It was a peppermint, it's like peppermint Santas. And that's it. You kind of get it on there. And then we're going to shade it. I don't really bring any of this up right to the mustache. I leave that gray area. I kind of make it a little go onto the beard. I mean onto the um, jacket. Then we have to do his eyebrows. So I just kind of give him those grandpa brows. He's not a big manscaper. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I have black out and I have to use it because I gotta make him come to life because I'm gonna put the pupils in. The same way, I'm just gonna, ugh, I think there's so much water on this brush. I don't know why it holds so much water, but that's water. All right, I'll get it. Okay, I don't know where the camera turned off, but we're gonna put his beard on. I'm just using white and a liner brush. This is a really little liner too. Um, 18 slash zero, so it's very fine. I'm just using this inky kind of watery white. It's not that watery. And we're gonna just put, first thing I do is put on the mustache. Start in the middle and just kind of create a little cute mustache. I always put on the top part first and then create the bottom. And you fill it in. Kind of stroke it in. Don't cover up all the gray. And that gives it, you know, a little more depth. We're going to shade it too. We're going to shade the beard. Let me put his eyebrows on. This brush gets water on things. See like that? That has water right there. It's just bugging me. Um, okay. So I like to put little like curly, well, little hairs that come down kind of onto his face. They're coming from the back under his hat. And then just pull they can be thick, they can be thin, it's okay. Don't cover up all the gray. That's the key. We're gonna shade, um, so it'll cover. And don't go all, we're gonna put a mouth, but don't cover all the gray. You can go a few like that kind of go out onto the red. And that's it, basically. Let's see, see what I did on him? Oops, look, I put it, oop, I didn't put it in the white. Okay. I got his cheeks to show up a little better, but look how pretty his little face looks. He needs, I'm going to do a little more white right here. It just looks weird. And I want to do a little dot. A little twinkle on his nose too. Um, he needs a twinkle, and he need. Oh, he needs pupils. First, he needs pupils. Um, let me put the black pupils on. I don't want to cover up all the blue, but make a decent sized pupil. I hope I'm in the shot. Okay. That is so cute. He doesn't look as brown as he was, but he's good. All right, and then for the mouth, I'm going to use that candy bar color that I shaded with, that I shaded all the red with. We're going to make a triangle right in this little space here where his mustache is. So you're just going to paint a triangle there. Same thing on him. I've done this on all of their mouths. If it's small, that's fine. If it's big, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. 
and then we're just going to put a bottom lip so he's not it's kind of like we don't see his top lip so see how he has I'm just going to brush mix like a lighter color flesh color with some red so for this guy he's going to get this color flesh with some red And that'll be his lip. And I like it to kind of look a little wonky. Can you see it? I'm in the shot. Okay. And then his I want to make a little darker flesh color with the red. And I need more red. And I'll use, I don't know where it is. I'll use this dark flesh. Yeah. I have paint all over the place. All right, good. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Just mix that with a little bit of red. And put it right here. See? Can you see? OMG, he's so cute. He needs a highlight. And I could probably shade over his nose. I'm just going to leave it. He looks cute enough. I'm going to just take a tiny bit of white on the tip of this liner brush and try to poke a little highlight. And that's it. I put the twinkle on his nose. All right, they're done. I could put an eyelid. I'm just going to leave it. Um, let's do the fur. I did it so many ways. Um, <laughs> so this one I just did and I used one of these. These are, uh, you can get these at AC Moore. This is a Select Artist Princeton brush. It is a lunar blender. And it's just a kind of a rust, rough bristle that you could dry brush with, but I loaded it up and just tapped it in. I think it's what I'm going to use. I've also used my deer foot. This is considered a deer foot, and you can kind of tell. It looks like a hoof. I've used that, which it's kind of big for this. And then I, the, there was one other one that I used. I uh, can't find it. It's this, but in the much smaller version. This is called the Low Cornell DM Stippler. And it's, again, it's kind of a stiff bristle that I could just pounce with. But I think I'm going to go with this. I like the way this looked, so we're going to go with this. It's super easy. And I'm going to use white. And I'm just poking into the paint and loading the ends like that. And I kind of want it to be thick and thin. Like, I don't want it to be mushed. I want it to just be, like, see how that made like I'd like it to be a couple layers of that so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it let's go to this section the purpose is to try and let some of that um, undercoat show through so that gives you the your shading and your highlighting kind of if you keep you need to re reload because if you keep pouncing it will start to just turn to mush and you won't get the like little fluffy look that it has when you when you have fresh paint on there that's stuff that you're going to learn through practice i've done lots of mushy stippling and we have one more little oh two more little spots so in other words go just do a light little pass and then come back and do another one maybe if you, I'm going to be careful not to go too thick. See, doesn't that look cool? OMG, I like it. Oh, these make me so happy. All right, that looks, okay, let's do him. I think I need a little bit more white. These are the sand, oh, Jesus. Take your brush out of your mouth crazy all right start on this part and gently just tap it in 
what nice fresh wet tips that's what gives it that fluffy look every single one I've done is different you guys so you can't go wrong and we are going to shade it it'll make it look more dimensional and I do want to add that separation of his jacket and you know so cute oh gosh I can't even they're really I don't know you can't really see his eyebrows yes you can look how different they both look because I don't think I shaded their eyebrows that's why I haven't shaded their beards yet oh I forgot to shade their beards okay I'm gonna go in for another little second pounce because see I shaded his beard I shaded it under there I shaded his eyebrows see and I shaded the fur too to make it look it just looks so good okay I am going to wipe a little bit of this off and just gently I probably don't even need to do another because I don't want to get rid of all that undercoating and that's all I'm gonna do if I keep playing too much this is playing this is so fun for me I don't know why it just makes me so happy I'm not gonna I think it looks good I'm leaving it in the water all right I'm just gonna give it a second to I can go up and shade the beard now we're gonna shade see this doesn't look fluffy it's too late but it, it looks um, I'm just gonna hit it once that many times that looks better oh my god that one looks so much better it looks good though all right so you can get you can get carried away so we're gonna shade the beard so again I'm gonna use my angle brush and some of the frontier gray what was it called <laughs> I can't I think I've said it like five times already Quaker gray I don't know why I have tons of it out here mm corner load and all I'm gonna do is up under his cap so on the hair under the cap on the beard under the mustache I'm actually gonna add a little black because I don't think it's showing up and I believe I added a little black to the other shading all right, let me rinse. And there's other colors in your stash that you can use, like a darker gray. All right, because that did not show up. Now we're going to show up. And I think I'm going to go just around the mitten. I'm going to do a little bit on the mustache itself. So right in the center, up against each other. Look at the difference. See how it just makes it look dimensional? It has like separation. And then it looks like the hand is on top of the beard. It got darker. Ooh, I gotta do his eyebrows. Just a tiny little on the bottom of his eyebrows. They got much darker, but they're so cute. Oh my God, I love it. I'm so happy. It makes me happy when I do this. So a little bit of gray and a little bit of black makes it so much better. Oh, that was a lot of black. I'm getting tired. Joe and I got our uh, boosters and flu shots and Joe got a shingles shot so he's not feeling great today I feel pretty good but I think I'm just getting tired you know when you're just like sitting all day too I've been sitting a lot I gotta get up and move around It just makes me so happy. I 
All right, now we can shade our fur. Oh, look, I forgot their pom-poms. Were you guys all shouting at me? Sarah, the pom-poms. All right, I hear ya. Quick, I'll quick do that. Pom-pom, oops, I got really crazy there. Uh, always have a Q-tip ready. I can just take it off there. I probably should have shaded that too. I forgot. All right, I think I will. <clears throat> but they look cute, guys. We're going to shade the fur. I'm going to use, what did I use to undercoat it with? Mink tan. Probably have some out, but I can't be sure. I have so much paint out here. Okay. I'm going to side load again. I'm not going to do the pom-pom, obviously, because I just, it's wet. This is just going to be Sorry about that. Mink tan. Walk it out and just along the bottom. I think I'm going to tuck it back down. I don't want it to come up too high. Um, right here. I think I'll do it down here. Uh, see how it just gives it a little, like, it doesn't really look dirty. I was going to say dirty, but it doesn't look dirty. It just looks like there's a little shadow under there. I have to put a little division line, too. Come on, you guys. It's so cute. Oh, I get so excited. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're going to put this on here. Oh, my goodness. I just love it. I'm so tired. What else right here? Right here. My brush is starting to run out of water because I keep going back to the runway to pick up the color. Sometimes you have to get more water in your brush and then I can go back to the runway. OMG. This still looks wet. That's why I'm not... Uh... I think we're done. The eyebrows are over here. I think I want to tap a little bit more white because I think I just went too dark on here. They need to be a little whiter. That looks good. Oh my gosh. Do you like them? Um, we could also, you could put polka dots on your, on your sack. You could do so much and just have fun, play. You could put, like I said, you could put some um, holly on his hat up here stick a piece of holly in there but um i i think this was so fun i'm so glad i did this with you guys aren't they handsome oh my goodness uh-oh something's happening to my i think that's it and as always i'm so grateful for you guys thanks for watching Sorry, I forgot something. I did put this glitter, heavily loaded glitter acrylic. It's by DecoArt. It's called Clear Ice Comet. And I think it's a paint. I put it on after I varnished. But look how it just kind of makes the... I put it on the fur. Because there wasn't any snow. Like on these little ones, I put, I put it on my snowman. Let me see if you can see it. It just adds a little extra glitter. Um, did I put it? I put it on this little Santa on his snow. So I'm going to be doing that on all of them, I think. This one I didn't put any on, so you can see the difference. This one has it on his on his uh, fur, not snow, on his fur. 
I have to put it on the um, pom-pom. I forgot. I think why not, right? It just makes it cute. I, I varnished with a matte varnish. This is DecoArt DuraClear Matte Varnish. And you can add your little string. And oh, I also used my uh, trusty gold leafing pen to put a little gold leafing around the edges of everything. It just kind of makes it look finished. Also, I haven't signed them. I'm going to sign them probably with some type of a, a pen. And they'll be ready to gift or give as random acts of kindness or whatever you want to do. Um, all right, I think that's it. I did go in and go ahead and shade the little down the middle of the where they divide, where the fur kind of separates, just to make sure, you know, Santa can get out of his outfit at the end of the day. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Um, now, thanks for watching.